On the winding lanes of the old town, among rows of faded brick houses, stood 42 Avalon Street A, seemingly unremarkable house. Its creaky gates and overgrown garden gave it an aura of neglect. However, there was more to it than met the eye. The house had been passed down through generations, each inhabitant adding to its vast collection of trinkets. Hidden on the top floor, under the wooden beams and ancient tiles, was an attic. This wasn't just any attic. It was filled with peculiar objects from different times and realms. Young Ellie, who had just moved in with her grandparents, was an adventurous spirit. On a rainy afternoon, hearing whispers of this attic, her curiosity was piqued. With a lantern in hand, she decided to explore. As she climbed the narrow spiral staircase, Ellie felt a strange sensation. The air grew colder, and an indistinct hum resonated around her. Pushing the attic door, she was greeted by an ethereal glow illuminating the room. The attic was filled with oddities, a grandfather clock that ran backward, a globe showing lands unknown, a mirror reflecting another world, and at the center stood a massive, ornate chest with runes and symbols. The chest beckoned Ellie closer. She noticed it wasn't locked, but sealed with an intricate puzzle. The puzzle was an array of movable tiles, each etched with symbols, a moon, a star, an hourglass, and more. Remembering stories her grandmother told of worlds beyond our own, Ellie felt a surge of determination. She started moving the tiles, trying to align them. After what seemed like hours, with a final click, the chest unlocked. Slowly lifting the lid, a mist emerged, swirling around Ellie. As it cleared, she found herself not in the attic, but in a grand carnival. Colorful tents, enchanting music, performers and creatures she'd never seen before surrounded her. Bewildered, Ellie realized the chest was a portal to other realms. Each object in the attic was a relic from these places, and now she had the chance to discover their origins. Exploring the carnival, she chanced upon a peculiar tent labeled the Tent of Tales. Inside, a wise old owl named Ophelia narrated stories of each relic in the attic, guiding Ellie on a quest to return them to their rightful places. Ellie's journey in the carnival realm took her to its bustling center, where a grand carousel spun, its creatures alive and filled with stories. A graceful centaur, a laughing goblin, and a fiery phoenix danced in a mesmerizing circle. Drawn to the phoenix, Ellie climbed onto its back. As the carousel began to spin, the phoenix whispered tales of a fiery realm in the sky, where stars were born and meteors danced. After what felt like mere moments, the phoenix soared into the air, taking Ellie high above the carnival. Together, they flew through portals in the sky, each leading to another magical realm. They visited the silent moonlit plains, the bubbling lagoon of dreams, and the eerie forest of whispers. In each realm, Ellie discovered another relic's origin, gaining knowledge and understanding. As the phoenix descended back to the carnival, Ellie realized her mission. She needed to return each relic to its rightful realm, ensuring balance in the universe of Avalon Street's attic. Armed with newfound knowledge, Ellie began her quest. First, she approached the Lagoon of Dreams. Holding a shimmering conch shell from the attic, she whispered into it, sending it back to its watery home. In the Forest of Whispers, she found a peculiar tree with faces. Placing a wooden mask, another relic from the attic, onto one of the faces, the entire forest echoed with gratitude. The moonlit plains proved trickier. Ellie felt weightless as she floated, searching for the relic's resting place. Soon, she found a constellation missing a star. Retrieving a twinkling gem from her pocket, she set it in the sky, completing the stellar pattern. Each realm posed its challenges, but Ellie's determination and the guidance from the creatures she met, particularly Ophelia the Wise Owl, made her mission possible. As she returned the last relic, a feeling of peace enveloped her. The realms were in harmony and the balance was restored. Yet she knew her journey was far from over. The attic held many more secrets. Returning to the carnival, Ellie felt an overwhelming sense of accomplishment, but Ophelia had one more task. To leave this realm and return to your world, you must find the heart of the carnival, the wise owl intoned. 
The heart wasn't a literal heart, but a magical entity, pulsating with the collective memories and emotions of all the realms. Ellie needed to attune herself to its rhythm to find her way back. Guided by the hints and riddles shared by the carnival's denizens, Ellie found herself at the foot of a grand Ferris wheel. At its pinnacle, a radiant orb glowed, throbbing in sync with the carnival's beat. As Ellie climbed aboard, the Ferris wheel started to turn. With each rotation, memories of her adventures flashed before her eyes. The joys, the perils, the laughter, and the tears. Reaching the top, Ellie touched the glowing orb. A surge of energy passed through her, and the next moment, she was back in the attic. The mysterious chest closed, its puzzle scrambled once more.